tell me um, in your own words, what, what is Promised Land really about? Well, we really, in talking about it, we wanted to make a movie about uh, American identity. We wanted to make a movie about where we are right now, um, where we've come from, and, and where we're headed. And, um, and in talking about it, then we started researching natural gas, and that was the perfect issue because, um, you know, it's dividing communities all over the place, and people feel really strongly about it. Um, on both sides, and uh, and it's a great way to examine the choices we make and why we make them, and what kind of country we, we want to be. Um, and and uh, you know, it's very the stakes are very high. And you guys did a really good job at, at showcasing both sides. How important was it for you guys to, when writing this this film, to really make sure you covered the different sides of natural gas drilling? Uh, well, no, we, that was a big part of it, and we didn't want to give any answers either. We wanted to uh, just start a conversation um, because it's, it's ultimately not about that. I mean, the character makes a stand at the end really for civic engagement and, and for people participating and, and taking responsibility for these types of decisions. Um, but, uh, but, but in order to do that in a fair way, you, you want to you give you know, the, the, the arguments for, for, for each side so people, so people uh, can kind of get some context. And you wore a lot of hats on this project, and once again, you're you're working with someone who you wrote with. How was it? How was the collaboration with John? Great. I mean, it was it, it brought back a lot of memories because it was so similar to working with Ben Affleck. Um, you know, I think because we're all actors, we had the same kind of technique of you know improvising stuff and playing all the different characters, and um, we have very similar senses of humor and 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 uh, kind of similar outlooks. So, uh, you know, we just didn't spend much time disagreeing about mm -hmm. stuff you know if if a line you know rang one of us as it rang kind of falsely to one of us it would ring falsely to the other and and uh, and if you know if we felt like something was good we tended to think the same things were good so that made things go a lot quicker and you know you had a great rapport with him but the relationship and the characters with Francis she was unbelievable She's what was great. it what was it like having her in, in most of the scenes with you in the film it was great she was the first actor we went to uh, back when I was gonna direct the movie so it was a year before we even shot and we gave her the very first draft that we'd shown anybody and she signed up for it which was a big deal for us um, so and it was also great just from on a pr practical side because we could we knew we were writing for her, we knew we were writing for John and me, and so we had three of our main characters cast, and right. uh, that makes the writing a lot easier. And then um, you had Gus brought on for to direct. What was it about working with him on past projects that you knew he was the perfect director for this film? Well, the only other things I've written, he's, you know, he's directed, and um, he's, just, he's just brilliant, you know, he's great, and he, he's also someone who can elevate what you write, you know, make it better than, than than you, you know, and, and, and make it better than it is. Um, and, uh, and I mean, we were, we were really lucky, lucky to get him. I'm, I'm excited that after 15 years, the guy still wants to work with me. <laughs> That's always a good sign. That's always a good sign. And then my last question, just to wrap it up, you know, what do you really want the audience to leave the theater with about this movie? Is it about the decisions that these people face on a day-to-day -day basis? Is it about the natural gas drilling? It's about all of it, and uh, and and hopefully that's it's a conversation starter, right. um, you know, more than anything.